Hear the call, start the fire Hear the mighty Africa's huntress roar Fighting for survival What does the future hold? Being tough, being bold Feeling something in her soul Feel the passion, hear the call Start the fire, hear the mighty Africa's Huntress roar In the previous episode of Africa's Huntress, we saw Nadine stalk and shoot her first Hartsman zebra at Hudia Hunting Ranch in Namibia. In this episode, Anelda's hunting skills are tested again, but this time in typical Namibian weather that tends to be very hot and dry. I'm sure it's going to be an exciting day. Um, the first thing, uh, today's temperature, we're looking at a maximum of about 39. So humidity 7%, so it's going to be nice and warm out there. We've got a westerly wind blowing already, so we hope it doesn't pick up too much. Um, the hunting season has ended officially, so we're going to be doing a management hunt. So we're not uh, going to take any trophies today. The idea of the management hunt is that we're going to take out anything that is not strong enough to go get through the rest of our season. Um, the other thing for you as hunters is that you need to take out a good animal that's a good representative of that specific species so we're not taking any trophies when you've shot your animal you must be able to justify why you've shot that animal so if you've shot a cow you must be able to justify why you've shot it maybe it had one horn maybe um, very very skinny or something if you've shot a bull why you've shot that bull all right so no trophy animals um, i believe you will be penalized for that then the other thing the animals that you're going to be hunting today will be springbuck Hartebius, I think you'll get an extra point or two for a Hartebius, Black Wildebius, Blue Wildebius, and Hartmann Zebra. All right, we've got two different types of zebra on the farm, so make sure you know what the difference between the two is. Um, it will make, make for a little bit more interesting hunting today. And then I wish you all the best of luck. The team set out with Nadine as co-hunter and professional hunters Derek McKinnon as guide from Pudia Hunting Ranch and Margaret Buita as judge. Not long after the group started out, they spotted an impressive lone standing kudu bull. The temptation to shoot him is almost too much to bear, but hunting is never that easy, especially when a competition is on. They carry on unaware of how challenging the real hunt is going to be. Thanks, Margaret. I'll get off this way so my pants can't tear again. We saw black wildebeers there. There's two there walking apart. There's, they're not on a herd. So what we're going to do is, because the sun's on this side, we're going to walk in, in from this side. So if they look into the sun, it won't be that easy for them to see us. The wind is in our favor as well. And we're just going to take cover. There's a lot of bushes that we can use to get closer. Okay. Behind the bush, but then, and then when once we start walking, make sure that the sun's straight behind us. Shortly after, the girls spotted two black wildebeest bulls, completely unaware of their predators. And so, the first stalk of the day starts.
After a long, intense stalk, and with Nadine confirming the distance of 280 meters, it's going to be a long shot for Anelda, and with no cover to get closer. Anelda decides to take the shot. And misses. Nice. All they could do was watch as the black wildebeest disappeared into the thickness of the bushes and hope for another chance. I took another shot at a black wildebeest like yesterday. <laughs> this time it was 280 meters. Um, once again, the shot was short. And um, I even aimed higher than yesterday, even though it was like 20 meters closer. So I think shooting with the 220 grain peregrine bullets, I don't think we should go closer or further, more further than 200 meters away from the animal. I'm not sure about it, how the trajectory of this rifle's working. So let's not take a chance again. Yeah, well, that's bad. But honest, you didn't guys in the FAS. Stupid me. After driving around for a while, the they spotted some springboks. There's a springbok standing there. The second stock for the day starts. But, unfortunately, the Springboks outsmarted them. The two huntresses carried on, despite the disappointment. Their determination paid off quickly as they walked straight into a herd of blue wildebeest. Helped by Nadine, Anelda positioned herself for yet another risky shot. That was, let's just wait a second or two. We can slowly approach, because I can't see us, but that was not miss. 
Huh? I've got it. I, I just hope. I hope it's a good shot. It's a good shot. Because it was close by, yeah. I just took it on the shoulder. No, they didn't do. Derek and Margaret look around and confirm that there is, is no blood to be found. I'm not used to these bullets. I've only used them in. Okay, if these are We're gonna no, just go here. If you look at the tracks over here, you can see he was standing here. In a, if you look at the video, he jumped and land over here, and there's no blood. Yeah. Visible. The no, one, the one no, hoof was it, here. It's definitely a, it, it. It looks like, but I can can't find any scrap metal or, or anything here. All right. Um, we've looked at all the tracks. It's made it a little bit difficult because it's such a big herd. So, so we've spent a lot of time now looking at the tracks. We found no blood here. Um, we've gone beyond 100 meters looking looking on the tracks, and um, so. I'm quite happy to call it that there was no blood and therefore it was a miss. Okay. So it's it's, it's off to the vehicle there. again As it to need. drive around in the hopes it. of finding some more animals. A herd of springboks is spotted resting under the only shade in the area. With a perfect stalk to get the perfect shot, Anelda decides to take the lone standing springbok that was standing with its front quarters positioned away from them. How's I? Woo! Well, we can die. Got it. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> not like that. For you. a hopeful moment, they thought the hunt was over. But Anelda's shot only? placement had only wounded the animal. Mm. If it gets into the open again, I'll take another shot. The two huntresses walk closer so that Anelda can take another shot at hmm. the springbok. Because of Anelda's hasty judgment and poorly placed shot, she had severely injured a young springbok ram. Right behind the bush, let's go. You want to go forward? Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to shoot it through the move. Hey. Can I have your shoulder, please? She finally took a kill shot up close. That's a, okay. That's a dead shot. Keeping calm and patient is absolutely Thank necessary goodness. on a hunt. But unfortunately for Anelda, pressure started to show and I major mistakes were made. <laughs> Would have preferred to hunt a bigger animal, a more mature animal, but um, they were standing in a herd and they were too much behind each other and I was maybe a little bit too um, hasty and then we decided to take the one standing on its own quartering away and I think that's the biggest reason we didn't see how small it is but um, especially because it was standing on its own you can't measure or judge it with the other animals to see if it's big or small. 
And yeah, I didn't actually um, think it was this young, but I'm happy. Arnaldo's decision to take a lone standing springbok came with a big price. The short placement was questionable. Remember, for us to find the Africa's huntress, we cannot intervene with their decisions, but their mistakes will definitely count against them. Next week, join us as we go hunting with Rudy on her quest to take a blue wildebeest at Hudia Hunting Ranch in Namibia. Until next time, happy hunting! Feel the passion, hear the call, start the fire. I am Africa's huntress, now hear me roar, now hear me roar.